Yes. Yeah, Hamas ceased to exist today. Now, right now, in Palestine, mm. in West Bank and, and, uh, and Gaza, 20% of Palestinians go through Israeli prison system, whether mm. imprisonment, whether uh, 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 interrogation, whether torture. And the rest of them, they live a life of daily loss of land, of homes, of life, mm. and they are, they are suffocated by this. So let me ask you something. If you are a Palestinian living into these conditions for decades, mm. would, you, would you sympathize with your oppressor or sympathize with the people who claim they resist them even if they are terrorists? I have, made, I have made no secret that I think the conditions Palestinians have had to exist under are completely unacceptable. Yeah. I've said that for years. So the question then becomes, okay. how do you forge peace between two warring parts of that region yes. who for decades have approached peace, in my view, with mutual sledgehammers? With I'm asking the question, withdraw and give them the occupation, end the occupation, very simple. What do you mean, how are we going to no do it? No actual desire to have peace. And I think it comes down in the end to great leadership. Well, and well, I, I don't think there's yeah, great yeah, leadership. Yeah, but, but, I don't think, well, hang on, let me make my point. I don't think there's great leadership on either side. Where is the Nelson Mandela figure here to come through all this Nelson, hatred Nelson, on both Nelson sides? Mandela?